What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about how to figure out how many calories you need to consume to bulk, to cut, to maintain. So how to figure out your maintenance calories. So how we're going to be figuring this out, I went ahead and did the process for this last week and what you're going to do is you're going to track how much calories you consume which can kind of be hard so it's good I had to like eat different foods so I could track how many calories I'm eating every single day for a week and then you track your weight in the morning right after you wake up and go use the bathroom immediately before you drink any water or anything go weigh yourself and log that for a whole week so that's what I did and this is what it looked like alright so day one recap First and foremost, uh, my weight for the day was 192.4 pounds. Uh, my food, I ate a total of 3,736 calories. And you'll see on the screen here exactly what I had. But breakfast was 714, lunch was 1,058, and dinner was 1,964 calories. So you, you'll see all that on the, the screen here. And then my macros... I hit 362 grams carbs, 159 grams of fat, and 209 grams of protein. That's day one. Alright, here we are for day two. It's actually the next day because I forgot to record it last night. But anyways, here we are. So day two, uh, I consumed 2,581 calories. Uh, the first meal, my breakfast is 714 calories. Lunch, 597 calories, which is almost like unbelievably... Uh, small uh, and it filled me up so I'm kind of concerned about that I don't know uh, dinner was 1082 calories and then I had a protein shake 188 calories that brought my macros for the day to 168 grams carbs 119 grams fat 202 grams of protein so I hit my protein goal um, and my weight for yesterday ah my weight for yesterday was 193 pounds so as you just saw <laughs> alright here's check in for day 3 weight was 191.6 pounds so this is Wednesday right now total calories was 3092 uh, breakfast was 1201 you can see what I'm eating here you can see as I scroll lunch was 632 uh, and dinner was 1,259. And then if we go over to my macros, uh, my total carbs was 367 grams, fat 82 grams, and protein 214 grams. So that's day three. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here is day four recap. The weight today was 189.8 pounds. Total calories consumed was 3,297. Breakfast is 1,033, lunch 1,194, uh, dinner was 881, and then I had a protein shake, 188. That brings my macros to three or 292 grams carbs, 127 grams fat, 225 grams of protein. Uh, yeah, that's day four. All right, so here is day five's recap. I'm doing it the next morning, but uh, the weight was 191.8 pounds. Total calories were 3,442, breakfast was 1,056, lunch 704, dinner 1,082, and then a protein shake and some uh, liquid calories, we'll say. That was a total of 600-ish, and that brought my macros to 65, er, nope, wrong day. 255 grams carbs, 118 grams of fat, and 195 grams of protein. Okay, here is day six recap. The weight for today was 192 pounds. Total calories was 4,453. This is a lot more than the other days this week because I went out and did normal human stuff and enjoyed myself. I did not really like want to worry about eating specifically easy to track foods. So here it is, 871 for breakfast, 1,152 for lunch. That was a quick one. Uh, dinner was 1,859, and then I also had some candy and a cookie today because as you build in gingerbread houses, that's 570. So uh, that brings my macros to uh, 
493 grams of carbs, 170 grams of fat, and 232 grams of protein. Uh, day six, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, here's day seven, the final day. So my weight today was 195 pounds after what I ate yesterday. Uh, and then total calories, 2,954. Breakfast, 521. Lunch, 1,082. Dinner, 730. Snacks, 622. And that brings my macros to 255 grams carbs, 121 grams fat, and 193 grams of protein. So then after you track your weight, your calories, you'll go ahead and average them all up. So I went ahead and did that. And on average, I started out 192 pounds. And I ended the week, average, my average weight for the whole week was 192.2 pounds. So I, uh, I actually lost 0.2 pounds. So that's very little. And my average calorie consumption was 3,365. So what that tells me is that my rough maintenance calories is 3,365. Somewhere around there, that's my maintenance calories, how much calories I need to neither gain weight nor lose weight, just to maintain. Now, ideally, you would complete this process, you do this again for two more weeks, and then see what happened, and continuing to average out, track your stuff, and see what it says. And if you're losing weight, then that means you're eating too little. That means you're not at maintenance. So say after the first week, you lose a pound or something, then for the next week, you're gonna up your average calories. So you're gonna eat a little more, and then that week, say you gain too much weight. Okay, now you gotta go in between uh, for the last week to see what your maintenance is. I kinda got lucky that it was really close. I kinda already knew that I was roughly eating 3,000 or uh, needing that much. So after you do that and figure out your maintenance, so you've tracked everything for a week, saw what happened to your weight with your average calories. If you went up, next week you cut your calories just a little bit. If you went down, the next week you up your calories and you can repeat that until it's like you barely lost any or barely gained any weight. So once you do that, that is your maintenance calories. Whatever week where you barely lost or barely gained, that's about your maintenance calories, how many calories you need on a daily basis to um, just survive and be normal, like no changes. So with that, if you're bulking, you're gonna wanna add like 300 to 500 calories per day. You wanna be in a 300 to 500 calorie surplus per day. And then if you're cutting, you're gonna to wanna to do the reverse, 300 to 500 calorie deficit per day. So you take your maintenance, cut it by 300 to 500 calories, and that's what you wanna to try to eat at if you're cutting. Or take your maintenance, add that many, and that's what you wanna eat at when you're bulking. Um, so that's how you, that's, it's pretty simple. That's how you can, that, or that's how you figure out your maintenance calories and how much you should eat or how much you should not eat. Oh, gosh. So, now you know how much you should eat um, if you want to cut or you want to bulk or if you just want to maintain. So, yeah. Figure out your maintenance like I just showed you and then add 300, 500 if you're bulking cut 300, 500 if you're cutting per day. And uh, just play it by ear. You're, Cause you're, now this is important to note, your calories can change, like your body changes, it's not always, my body's not always gonna be burning this many calories on average. Your maintenance calories could change depending on your activity level and how used you are to your dieting. It always changes, so if you really wanna be accurate, you'd wanna repeat this every once in a while, like if you're not seeing the results that you want to from how much you're eating. Um, but yeah. If you have any questions, of course, you can DM me um, on Instagram, link down below, or comment on this video, I will reply. But that's basically it. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Um, yeah, deuces. Thank you.